Hello there, it's Evan Brand, Certified Functional Medicine Practitioner, Functional Nutritional Therapy Practitioner, back with another video. Let's talk about brain nutrients. I debated putting the word top in here and calling it top five nutrients to improve brain function, but I thought, you know what, I don't know if these are the top, but these are nutrients I've been using clinically in various blends for many years, and I've been taking these personally for many years, and I gotta say, I notice a huge difference when I'm not on these. So I might not call them the top five. I know some people that are into nootropics like paracetam and aniracetam and oxaracetam. Some of the more nootropics actually authored a book that's in bookstores worldwide uh, about nootropics. I covered a lot of the racetam or rastam family in there, and those are very, very potent for sure. But I don't think everyone needs those. I don't think everyone benefits from those and some have headaches and other things. So these are more of the botanical nutrient side of brain function support. But nootropics, sure, you could factor those in too. But let's dive right in. So acetyl L-carnitine. Now there's different types of carnitine. So there are some types of carnitine like L-carnitine that we're gonna use more for helping with chronic fatigue. But I find that acetyl, the acetylated version of L-carnitine is gonna be much better for brain function. We're gonna notice a much better boost in just cognition overall. So I'm gonna say, we'll just call it focus. Everyone can relate to improved focus. I would say focus is gonna go up with acetyl L-carnitine. I'm gonna to try to factor in a couple different mechanisms here because not all nutrients are doing the same thing. Omegas, that's very easy. I've got one called pure omega. This is my formula, pure omega. And this is a triglyceride form, uh, triglyceride form of omegas. Hopefully you can see that. I know some of these, like the bokeh on this lens, it focuses on my face, but I wanna make sure it's gonna be focused on the, on the screen as well. You wanna make sure you've got enough fatty acids. Our modern American diet is so deficient, and even if you're somewhere else in the world watching, you're still gonna be getting exposed to the same conventional oils. A lot of your rapeseed oils, canola oils, things are gonna be inflammatory and in the omega-6 category, that's gonna mess up your ratio. So throwing in something like a triglyceride form, that's what we use, we'll just call it TG for short, TG, that's a triglyceride form. That is the best form of fish oil. It's the closest thing legally we can get to like a raw fish oil, and that's gonna be very beneficial. The mechanism here is gonna be more anti-inflammatory. I definitely notice a difference cognitively when I'm on a higher dose. I'm doing around four to five grams of the triglyceride per day. Mine is like a 1.25 per, it's like a 1.25 gram per cap. So I'm usually doing three, four, five, just depends on the day. All right, next, moving on here, PC and PS. So these are gonna be phosphatidylcholines and phosphatidylserine. They have different benefits. Phosphatidylcholine we use to help with the cell membrane. So when we have someone exposed to mold and mycotoxins, if you think of a cell like a donut, and uh, this might not be the best analogy, but I would just picture the toxin inside the donut. It's gonna disrupt, it's gonna kind of break open. Think of it like leaky gut, but it's really leaky cells. It's literally gonna kind of break open these cells and then you've got a lot of this intracellular fluid just leaking out and that can cause a lot of issues with cognition. And so personally, I've noticed when I'm on phosphatidylcholine, my brain works much better. And there are some companies, professional ones that we use that actually market phosphatidylcholine as a brain and liver support. So the real benefit of it is it's gonna come in and sort of patch up all these holes, if you will. Think of it how we would use gut healing supports like glutamine and zinc carnosine and chamomile and mucin and okra and a lot of the ingredients like I have in my GI Soothe formula. It's like that, but instead of the gut barrier, this is more for the cell membranes. So to me, this is a critical component and I find that if we don't use this, the recovery is not as fast and the recovery is not as, let's just say, efficient. We feel like people don't make as much progress if they're not taking phosphatidylcholine. Dosing-wise, we're ranging, you know, probably around two grams, I would say, is a safe, good dose for most people. So 2G daily. Next, moving on, hooperzine. I love hooperzine. Oh my God, one of my favorite nutrients ever. Uh, hooperzine is actually comes from a club moss and, uh, so hooperzine is cool. So what it does, you're probably familiar with dopamine, right? I've done a video on low dopamine, one of my top rated videos ever. It's like 50,000 plus views. I'll link it up here in case you wanna check it out. And you probably know about serotonin, right? But many people don't know about acetylcholine. And so typically it's ACH for short, acetylcholine. But acetylcholine is actually one of the most important neurotransmitters, and I call, I call it kind of the forgotten neurotransmitter. GABA is as well. GABA is your inhibitory calming neurotransmitter. But what happens as you age, you get exposed to toxins, you're under stress, 
you're gonna be burning up your acetylcholine much faster than you should. Now, where huperzine comes in, this is the ingredient from the club moss, is it's actually an acetylcholinesterase inhibitor. Say that 20 times fast. Acetylcholinesterase inhibitor, acetylcholinesterase inhibitor. Okay, pretty good. So what that means is it inhibits the enzyme that is gonna break down acetylcholine. So, you know those little uh, battery packs you plug up to your smartphone, you wanna keep your phone out in the woods, you wanna you know, store your battery. I think of the club moss, the huperzine, as that nutrient for acetylcholine, meaning it's gonna just keep the amount of acetylcholine in your brain longer. Think of it kind of like, it's not a direct exact match, but the best analogy is similar to how the uh, SSRI drugs how they work for serotonin. So they're gonna keep that serotonin in the receptor site. Same thing with the huperzine. It's gonna slow or prevent the breakdown of acetylcholine. So what you have there is gonna last and work longer in the brain, therefore improving your memory, your mood, your cognition. So huperzine is a game changer. And you'll see many nootropic formulas on the market. Throw a little bit of huperzine in there, possibly with some of the rastams, and that can be helpful. And then lastly, ginkgo. I love ginkgo. This is gonna be very beneficial for blood flow. And so we may have talked about this in some of the podcasts or YouTube videos I've done before. Blood flow is the goal with ginkgo. That's it. That's the main benefit. There may be some other mechanisms, but as far as I know, it's best at improving your blood flow and helping with what are called hypercoagulation issues. Lyme, Babesia, Bartonella, mold toxin, that all affects blood flow and ginkgo helps. I notice a significant difference when I'm on ginkgo. I personally take all of these formulas in a blend and we formulated several ones. So, you know, I think that's something to consider. Phosphatidylcholine, phosphatidylserine, huperzine, ginkgo, omegas, acetyl-L-carnitine. Maybe you throw some extra nootropics and some adaptogens on top of it, and you're on your way to a much better focusing brain. We'll do another video on diet for brain health, but hopefully most of you are already organic, nutrient-dense, low anti-inflammatory, kind of a paleo template, you're gonna do the best with brain function there, assuming you're digesting all those nutrients from your food, and if you have gut issues that are messing up your digestion, you fix those. So this is Evan Brain signing out. If you need help clinically, please click here on screen. You can book a call with my staff. Look forward to helping you out. You take care, bye-bye now.